Here's another sensation from the past that's making a strong comeback. It's Rocky and Bullwinkle. And do you know what? They're two of the hottest characters on the home video charts. Rocky and Bullwinkle? According to Billboard magazine, at least four of the top-selling videos in the country are Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoons. And they're 30 years old. So what is it with Moose and Squirrel? We sent Mark Bailey to find out why Rocky and Bullwinkle are flying high again. This isn't the foot of a man, it's the foot of a moose. And that brings us to Frostbite Falls, Minnesota, home of our stalwart hero, Rocket J. Squirrel. It seems as if much of the country is suddenly hunting for moose. Bullwinkle J. Moose, to be exact, 32 years after he and his pal Rocky first hit the airwaves, the J. Ward Classic has hit the video stores, and sales have taken off with a bang. We always arrive in the ta-da nick of time. The timing does seem to be perfect. Moose Mania has skyrocketed four of the six video releases into the top ten list. But why all the interest in a cartoon? Give me my shower cap, will you? Yeah, here you are. It was unique, it was funny, it was uh, satirical and sophisticated, but we never knew that 30 years later, people would go out of their minds in, in being uh, fans. But going crazy, they are. Always a cult favorite, the witty cartoons now seem to be attracting the audience that grew up watching the gang from Frostbite Falls. The kids who were baby boomers, who looked at it when they were five years old, are now 35 and, and 40. And they are now just beginning to comprehend all of the jokes, all of the puns, all of the uh, innuendos. Boris, that, that is the voice of fearless leader. You were expecting maybe Alan Font? In the age of Ninja Turtles and Smurfs, it looks like a whole new generation is turning on to the cartoons their parents watched. And it looks like time hasn't dulled the moose and squirrel's satiric bite. And it's just as topical today as it was then. It, it, it's timeless. And of course it is. Did you watch? Yes, I did. How about you? Of course, and like many kids, I got in trouble for watching. The late Jay Ward, who created Rocky and Bullwinkle, went to Harvard. He graduated from the business school. He was going into real estate. And then he broke both of his legs in a truck accident. And Rocky and Bullwinkle were conceived in a hospital bed. I didn't know that. But lucky for us. And coming up next...